Hey, what's up guys, Steven here, and welcome to our first episode of Teardown Tuesday. So today we're going to take a part in Chinese LED projector, not this one here, but a crappier one. So I would say, let's get directly started. So guys, here's the projector, and I did a review on this unit, so you can check it out on my channel, but honestly I have to say, this is one of the worst LED projectors I've ever had. You can see here, for instance, the sticker, so the power limit, it's around 30 watts. But well, um, it's very, very weak. Now, there are projectors claiming that they have 1000 lumens, but this one here, it's like not even 100 lumens, so very weak. It has to be absolutely dark in your room. Then you can see it has a couple of connectors, so VGA, we have HDMI, and yeah, um, it supports full HD resolution, but the native resolution is very low. All right, so let's take it apart. Now, as you can see, um, all the screws are here at the bottom of this device, and we have here, yeah, a couple of cross-tip screws, and also some screws here inside of the hole, so I need some very small screwdrivers. So let me quickly remove all the screws, and then let's have a closer look on what we can find inside. Okay, I've now removed all the screws and actually we should be able to separate the case parts and there we go, so we just take a screwdriver, oops, something just went off. And yeah, um, here you can see the upper plastic shell, so with all the buttons, it has basic buttons like OK, a menu button, um, here also an LED and yeah, the power button. Okay, well, pretty cool board here inside with all the buttons. Then now let's remove the other plastic crap. I hope, oh, holy crap. Um, yeah, here's the other plastic shell with some Chinese signs on the inside. And there we go. So here we have the actual main board and we also removed the lens, which you can see right over here. So um, here you can see the magnification. So I hope the camera can focus and you can see it's um, it has really big um, magnification here, so you can see all the components of the motherboard. Pretty cool. All right, um, you can see there's a fan inside, so it's a very small one, like 60 millimeters or something like that. And here we have the um, yeah the dual pin um, fan connector, so it's glued here to the main board. Hopefully, I can get it off, but I'm probably not going to use the projector anymore. All right, so, well, we don't care, guys. Let's do it this way. And actually, <laughs> that was the correct way. Sometimes you just need to do it rough. Um, here we have a massive heat sink, and the heat sink goes somewhere here to the motherboard, so probably um, there's some transform or something like that. So let's have a closer look at the chipset. What's that? Not really sure about the company, but looks pretty cool. Here we have, for instance, a flex cable, I guess, that goes to the tiny display which is before the lens. Um, we can quickly open up the connector, so we just have to flip this up and get the cable out. What I will do right now is I will just remove all the screws. So we have here one, two, three, four. I will just um, take the motherboard apart and then we can see what we can find under it. Okay, I removed all the screws and as you can see I can lift up the motherboard. Um, still, there are some speakers, so this projector came with two speakers, so I will just get them out. They are glued in. Here you can see the first one. We have here plus and minus cable soldered to the main board. And here's the other one. I just have to get it out here of plastic case. Oh, fuck, I just killed the speaker. But well, um, now we can see here the back side of the motherboard. So we have here, for instance, also the USB connectors. Actually, you were able to charge your smartphone, you were able to connect things to the project and play directly from it. Then, yeah, um, here we have, for instance, an SD card slot. We have here power in, VGA output. That's, I'm not really sure what that is, some capacitors and well, very basic motherboard. All right, so here we have two cables and it seems that the black one here is a ground cable and it goes directly here to the heatsink, so ground. And the white one is probably power and goes somewhere down there. So we'll just dig a little bit deeper and let's check out what we can find there. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, I did just lift off the plastic cap and here you can see 
the inside. Now let me quickly explain how that works. So now first of all the lens, um, so the magnification lens was seated here and yeah um, here we have the light source so this should be LED but we'll check it out just in a second. Then we have the display and you can see the display here so let me get it out. So first of all we have a plastic frame, display is mounted in there and there we go. So here's the actual display. So this is very small and as you can see transparent so the light can actually go through the display and here we have um, something which looks like the keystone adjustment so from the back side you can actually adjust that um, plastic lens here and this will um, also adjust yeah, the keystone effect of your image. Then here we have a mirror which is basically just um, yeah, mirroring the image if I can um, say it like that so from here up in directly into the lens and the lens is right over here and basically um, magnifies the whole picture and yeah um, the problem is that the light source is really really weak so I just want to have a close look at the light source and last but not least I just want to switch on this little display and let's see if it still works and how it looks like because I think that could be really interesting Alright guys, so yeah, let's just go. I'll just get out here the mirror, so normal mirror, nothing special. The keystone thing here is somehow fixed, so we'll just keep it in there. We have the fan there, we have the heatsink, and now let's have a closer look here at the lamp. Okay, there we go. Now um, here you can see some kind of prism and it has also here plastic lens. Inside there are mirrors. So you can see there's an LED mounted on a heatsink and yeah, the LED light is not really even and basically the light beam gets focused in there and it comes out even out of the lens um, with that light prism here. And then it gets through the display, then through another lens for the keystone and all that, then it gets redirected here with the mirror and then through the lens and yeah, um, it beams a project, basically the light beam and um, the image to your wall. Okay, so let's have a closer look here at the heatsink with the LED. So actually I should be able to get this out, so just give me a second, I hope I didn't miss any screws and alright, so here it is, now the lens here makes some sound, but well, you can see it here from the inside. We had um, two 2 watt speakers on the left and on the right side, pretty crappy speakers, I so really forget them. We have here for instance um, the fan, so the heatsink gets cooled by the fan, you can see here the output of the air. And there we go, so let's have a look at the motherboard, here it is guys. So a very basic thing, all the buttons are directly here on the motherboard, here's some kind of system on chip, not really sure which brand or what it actually is. We have here the display connector, so we'll later just mount the display and we'll also try to switch it on to see if this is still working and how this actually looks like. Alright guys, but let's have a closer look here at the LED, so let me quickly focus. So there we go, here's the LED, so basically the light source of the projector. So it's a real LED project, I thought there's maybe a real, just a lamp inside, but well, there's an LED mounted on the heatsink with some thermal compound, so thermal grease. The heatsink is actually quite big, I mean just check this out, so it seems that um, the LED dissipates a lot of heat and we'll later try how strong it really is. But I have to say in reality, so if you really want to watch a movie, it has to be completely dark otherwise you can really forget the projector. Maximum input 2.5 amps at 12 volts so something like 30 watts maximum total power consumption with all that speakers and all that but I would say um, let's quickly try to hook it up to power supply so probably we can even burn the LED I really don't care about this project anymore and yeah that's it so that's the heart of the projector LED um, heatsink and the motherboard. So let's just hook it up and let's see if we can get it to work. Alright guys, so the projector setup is finished. Now it gets power through the USB connector which is pretty interesting. So you can actually power that projector with the DC in check or over USB. So different voltages but it works. Now with 12 volts and yeah um, 2.5 amps it's for sure stronger and the LED is brighter but it also works over USB which is kind of fancy. But let's try to power it on. So wish me luck guys. I hope I won't get shocked or this thing is falling apart. Oh holy shit. Alright guys take two. There we go. So let's try to turn on the projector and hopefully it's not falling apart right now. So let's press the power button. We have to hold it for a long a time probably so it's not turning on right now and there we go come on 
Alright, so that looks good. So you see display was black, now we have here the LED projector startup display and you can see the light coming through, so it's a transparent display and I think that looks pretty, pretty cool. So right now it's a blue screen you can see on almost all projectors and you see the no signal sign here is going up and down and I thought about building myself something like a transparent clock would be really super awesome. Um, yeah, this is how the projector works, so it has some kind of okay or um, LED backlight, so which is also mounted on a heat sink with a fan because the heat dissipation from the LED is really a lot, but it's not strong enough to get a decent picture in um, yeah, light conditions, normal light conditions. So it has to be completely dark in your room. This is the only downside on those cheap projectors. Um, next of all, it has, for instance, an HDMI um, yeah, port, but it only supports full HD input. So the output of the display here and um, with all the components inside is not too good. So you will actually just get a not even HD display and it's really hard to read fonts on the wall then. All right, so this is how it works. Light is coming through. That transparent display thing gets kind of focused, uh, at least it, an even light beam comes out of the light prism, then it gets through the keystone lens, so to adjust the keystone, then it gets redirected by the, by the mirror through the magnification lens, which you can also adjust, and yeah, that's it. That's um, how this cheap LED projector here works. Keystone lens, all the kind of crappy, as you can see, but the transparent display here inside is really something which looks pretty cool, in my opinion. All right, guys, so that was our Tear Down Tuesday. So now you know what you can find inside of a cheap LED projectors. For sure, high expensive ones or high quality ones look kind of different. Probably we can take something like that apart um, the next time. But if you want to see us taking apart anything specific, like a Bluetooth speaker or whatever you can think about, write a comment down below in the description. And don't forget to check out the next Tear Down Tuesday and subscribe that you won't miss any of those videos. Now, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and bye-bye.